This is a Yottage electric spray gun. I'm replacing the old one that I had. This was fairly decent priced. It's got good reviews. As you can see on the box, it's got the everything you need to do, what you need to do. So it comes with instructions. <clears throat> it's got a little pin for cleaning out the head. It's got a cap, so if you want to save your paint or whatever you put in here and use it later you can put this cap on there it's got a cleaning brush it does have a little wrench to change these nozzles these nozzles are nice they're brass you do have different sizes of them and the size is really the the size of the tip and how much comes out Based on what you're you're gonna paint with or use, so some things you might need the smallest one. Sometimes you might need the, the I think this is the three millimeter. So use a little wrench to wrap around here to undo that. You got your cup where you test and how you dilute your paint or thinner or whatever you're using. You know if you gotta add water, if you gotta add paint thinner. It really comes down to how long it takes for this cup to drain out of here, based on. Some formula they got, which I think is in the manual. So you gotta get it the right thickness or it just doesn't come out and it does probably make your paint or whatever you're doing blotchy. So yeah, they show you all the different components. Yeah, they show you how to dilute it, whether you're using solvents or primers, varnishes. They tell you how fast it should be. So this is seconds for this to drain. It says wood preservatives, you don't need to dilute it. Because this has got to be thin enough to get through these nozzles. So it really depends on what nozzle you're using too. Like I said, you just time how long this takes to drain until you get within their range. You don't want to overdo it because then it'll get too thin. So there's your tank. Let's have this nice nozzle on there, just screws on here. You can place this nozzle in here. This all comes apart, makes it really easy to clean. This also makes it so you can adjust this and turn this, and you get different kinds of sprays, whether you're doing up or down or sideways, or you need a round pattern, or so you just kind of loosen this a little bit, turn this the way you want it, and then tighten this back up. Pretty simple. This does have a an adjustment on here you can screw in and out which will adjust how much comes out paint wise how much you get that's so putting out like I said this is got a little bit of weight to it it's not terrible you know it's probably even better with this on here you can see the handle here pushes this in and it's a little awkward for my small hand but it works so get your on and off button here or you're actually that's a lock button but that was on and off i guess just spraying it's on and off you plug this in the other thing i like about this is it has this bent tube here so you can adjust that so you can point it down and back if you're painting upwards or you can turn it forward if you're painting downwards my last one just had a straight tube and I couldn't do that. I had to paint straight or I couldn't use this at all. So this is pretty sweet. I like it. Comes apart real easy. Everything cleans real easy. I like it. You should get it. <laughs>